A Trinculo has been struggling lately, struggling with an identity crisis, trying to escape the fictions of his past, putting on the mantle of insight into the mind. Yes, the very fucking mind of contemporary fucking experience. So, borrowing the Emperor's new fabric to disguise his nakedness, his preferred nude experience. Oh, and he makes a sensational mood experience, and his absurd corruption of corrected reduction into the measured reality through which humanity finds itself a commodity. Trinkolo wonders if he is little more than some nerd's magnetic ink in cyberspace, someone silicon wiring in a universe of somnambulist breath. Cry out! Trinkolo screams. If the universe began with a sound, a vibration, then let it continue with a cry, a cry affirming life's cruelty, an absurd sequence, a pretense of fairness when all is so blatantly unfair. Is it bad karma? Original sin? God's mysterious ways? The powerful stamping on the faces of the powerless and their babies. Their children who appear only on news items on the Murdoch TV and Google. The rage of nature casting vengeful bolts over the stormy land and sea. <laughs> and the academics don't see that what Trim Trinkolo has just defined is the existential dilemma told in absurdist language in the persona of an idiot. Oh, long live the dead Dostoevsky. There is no fairness. As the despot dies peacefully in his sleep, while the unmarried mother is stoned piteously by pious God-fearing, casting first and multiple stones, while hiding behind academic liberalism, a postcard from the Enlightenment. There is no fairness. As Trinkolo discovered, while craving the death in his bathtub and playing to the atheist god for the dagger of deliverance to squeal like a proverbial pig as it penetrated his skin at the erotic bequest of Charlotte Corday. In his delusion, which of course he recognizes, he imagined the beauty of dying as Mara from the French Revolution, a symptom so prevalent in the idealist set the fanciful jihadist, and the noble revolutionary Che Guevara. There is no fairness in the awareness of existence. Only a recognition of absurd patterns of delusional chasing after the words from saints, prophets, and charlatans now doing time at St. Andrew's nursing home for their sins in the wake of the blaspheming gurus. Yeah, the ones who sang the songs of angels and demons without discrimination. Wake up! Screams Trinkolo from the rupture to his rightness. Wake up! He screams while being floated from his secure bed to the pet skeleton he keeps as a medical donation hidden in a box above his bedroom wardrobe. Wake up! He screams echo as his shape is thrust against that box, shattering the bones as they burst into nowhere and clutter the floor. And each bone begins to vibrate with the echo and in turn howls back to Trinkolo, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> The words from the books are unhinged and begin dancing in dyslexic steps from the grand choreographer who condemns the woman and the womanly men to death by burning or stoning. Wake up! The stones and the bones vibrate as do the lips of the fires dancing balletic steps on the skin of Joan of Arc and in sync with the blade on the clit of um, Fortunate children whimpering in the back rooms of some sanctioned city where barbarity is frowned upon, except when it is simply a misreading of a cultural precept and enforced by the Gestapo grandmother proclaiming frailty in the light of Joan's fires burning uncomfortably throughout the ages. Oh, the times haven't 
changed. Wake up. Wake up, screams Piccolo, brushing off a splinter and more embers from the fire, pushing away the dust from the stone of piety being thrust by the saints of the word and freaks from the cartoon show following the Disney-fied culture. Wake up, screams he to shake the smug, unforgiving universe of time and space. The smug reflection in the mirrors, the last sight of benign torturers, blinded to never seeing their actions nor the result of their actions. Wake up, screams to the to continue the creation which began with the vibrant song of gods, gods singing no words, no shape, no pattern, and no lies. Wake up, screams Twinkle. Twinkle recognizes the need for screaming, the need to cry preceding the scream. Twinkle hides inside his own bullshit. Twinkle is the bullshit. Twinkle is the 